time of significant change. The phrase interesting times suggests uncertainty and danger, but also opportunity and creative invention driven by necessity. Online retail is affecting the health of the high street. Rising obesity, isolation and loneliness has sparked a change in the social health agenda with a clear focus on well-being and health equity. The Black Lives Matter movement and recent debate around women's safety illustrates how voices are making themselves heard, calling for a more equitable society. The climate emergency is widely acknowledged, affecting all life on Earth, and a low-carbon future is part of our response to that threat. If resilience is a measure of how we recover from the effects of extreme events or rapid change, such as COVID, adaptation describes the steps we take to live with that change. Adapting to a new normal is a phrase we've become very familiar with, and COVID is an example of unforeseen change impacting on all areas of our lives. A lesson learned from COVID is that change is dynamic, unforeseen and unexpected. Our response must be equally dynamic and we need to use the tools we have at our disposal to respond, predict and prepare ourselves for the future. Our future ready approach is people centred, building resilience and adaptability into our communities and the lives they lead. We're focused on delivering a better tomorrow, acknowledging duty of care to future generations and our role as custodians. It's important to use technology for good. A data led joined up approach not siloed or about single issues, ensures that our responses are smart and focused to be most effective. Diversity is an adaptation strategy. Focus on multifunctionality can ensure environmental and quality of life benefits are fully integrated into our work. There are many examples of this. High quality environments such as Duke of York Square in London attract people to visit and linger and is characterised by trees, plants and water. Retail sales increased more than 172% after the transformation of Pearl Street Triangle in New York, illustrating how lingering supports the local economy. Tussinger Platz, a climate adapted space in Copenhagen, exemplifies how the environmental features, the trees, the plants and water, enhance green infrastructure functionality as well as contributing to quality of place. Green infrastructure strengthens resilience to climate change but redefining our relationship with nature in our towns and cities in this way delivers universal health and societal benefits. Safe and pleasant streets make the choice to use local shops easier. More local journeys increase passive surveillance and social interaction. Safer streets support safer and stronger communities. If we think of a street as a timeshare with programmed activities at different times of the day appealing to different people, it's a way of making better use of the street as a social space and community resource. More walking and cycling slows traffic speeds and encourages more walking and cycling. And this is a behavioural health legacy to future generations and reduces carbon emissions. There's been increased interest in the idea of the 15 minute neighbourhood. Involving people in decision making and making in the practical sense increases community ownership and empowerment. Temporary interventions, pilots and trials are responsive and low cost and pave the way for permanent interventions to follow. Most of these points could apply to any of these images which illustrates how adaptability is a critical concept underpinning resilience.